Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. Just in time for a little education and a little update. And the update will be first. <sighs> I lost data. I lost a lot of data. <laughs> My computer, it died. The for for whatever reason it it just it shut down in the in the middle of editing a video and i didn't have anything backed up so i lost uh six weeks worth of content i may still be able to recover it i'm working with dell uh, because i I'd, I'd backed up the data before they replaced the motherboard and and wipe the hard drive i'd backed it up but for some reason uh the backup is unintelligible so i may still have those videos and i may not meanwhile i don't have any content to work with <laughs> meanwhile i don't have any content to work with and we had a we received an email from the storage facility because we we normally keep trudy on in a in a under a under cover in a locked secure facility with cameras all over the place and you've you've seen it if if you've been following along i've shot some video out there uh we feel very we felt very safe and secure there on friday afternoon i received an email from the facility management uh, informing us that despite their best efforts uh, several rvs at that location had had their catalytic converters stolen uh, in a panic i jumped in the truck and ran over there fortunately the no damage done to trudy uh, but in my apparent heightened state of paranoia, I decided to bring Trudy here to the house and see what I could do to deter the theft of catalytic converters. And in my research, uh, I ran across, now there's all kinds of stuff that you can buy and strap on and ca cable cages and alarms. Uh, and all of that is really a deterrent. There's not any way to prevent anybody from taking it if they're determined. Uh, but they're looking for fast, easy targets. <laughs> Slip under there with the saws off, zip, zip, and they're gone. And that may be, that's probably why they didn't hit Trudy because that's the, 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 the F, the Super Duty chassis has, it's more than just a catalytic converter. It's, it's got the, diesel emission stuff the burner uh, they call it the regen burner so that's one great big assembly and it's not an easy in and out like the f-150 the f-150 is a, a very easy in and out uh, harris county houston put out a memo to the citizens there because apparently they got a really bad issue and in that memo they're saying if you were to etch the VIN and plate number on the catalytic converter, as well as using a high temp paint, paint the catalytic converter uh, a bright color. That's as, as, uh, as good a deterrent as anything else that you can buy. That sounds pretty simple to me. So I... I actually have an engraving pen, and I've done that, and I'm going to share that video with you. So, so I bought a little electric engraving pen. It's just a that uh, works. It, it's actually got a little speed control. And under here. I use the Sharpie. The Sharpie will probably burn off, but I didn't want to have to keep looking at my phone while I was doing it, but just etched it into the metal. That's the VIN. 
and then over here I have the plate. Now when the paint arrives tomorrow, I'll I'll make sure that I tape off everything down here and then I'm going to make this most noticeable. All right, let's go do the pickup. Yeah. So that was, that was a little harder. <laughs> Left room under white lightning. But let, let me show you what we have here. At the, at the sh to shimmy underneath the truck. So this is the catalytic converter on the pickup. That's actually an easier, easier target than Trudy. Looks like I might actually have a little exhaust leak too. Anyway, I'm still gonna paint it so it doesn't walk away. And then I, I went to, to looking for high temp paint I found engine paint and I don't know if my catalytic converter gets hotter than 500 degrees or not but we'll find out uh, because I'm using a, a 500 degree engine paint so if it's good for engines it ought to be good for exhaust but maybe not I don't know we'll see uh, it only took me about I guess 20 minutes total for both vehicles uh, I had to wait for the paint to arrive from Amazon and I did that project just a few minutes ago and here's that footage. We are talking about keeping your catalytic converter safe. How to deter thieves. So in, in doing my research for protecting my catalytic converter, I found that they recommend Actually, the city of Houston, Harris County recommends engraving the, the vehicle VIN on, and license plate on the catalytic converter and also spray painting it a bright color. Yellow is pretty bright. This is Duplicolor engine enamel uh, withstands heat up to 500 degrees. I don't know how, much, how hot the catalytic converter gets. We'll find out how, how well this lasts. I've already painted both the pickup and the, the, the pickup and the, the motor home. Let's take a look. So there is a, a yellow catalytic converter. It's a lousy paint job, too. Okay, now we need to go look at the RV. Let's go check out the... Let's go see Trudy's new look. Uh, I'm warning you. I'm going to tell you in advance. It's ugly. And that's what we're after. So here is the, the really lousy paint job on the whole catalytic converter and regen system. Of course, the catalytic converter on Trudy is a, not nearly as simple a process getting that out as it is the one on the pickup and that may be why we were fortunate not to have had ours taken while the thieves were doing the deed that's the low investment deterrent and knowing what i know about trudy thunder now I'm, and i should have recognized this before i'm not as concerned with this one as I am with this one. And hopefully when they, if, if and when they roll under there, they go, oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty bright red, that's a pretty bright yellow. Kind of hard to take that to the scrap yard and say, oh, well, yeah, we found this on the side of the road. It's a deterrent. I may explore more 
pricey deterrence in a later video uh, but but for now i th i think we're we're gonna go with what we got so i'm about to depart i'm taking trudy down to houston to the to demontrond rv in houston to have the floor covering replaced seems that a number of rv manufacturers were using a floor adhesive that made the floors turn yellow it bled through let's see if, i don't know if we're gonna be able to see it or not yeah here's here's an example you can see that how yellow that that is i mean that's a bright yellow right there i thought that was a rust stain See how discolored the whole thing is. All right, so I'm headed to Houston. It, it's taking us six months to get this approved from Thor. But if you're still inside your one-year warranty and your floors are turning yellow, get to the dealer and get it documented. They're going to take out the the current existing floor vinyl. They're actually going to be cutting around and they're going to cut in uh, new vinyl. They've got to have the coach there for three days. So rather than dropping it and driving back up here to North Texas, I'm going to drop it and we're going to take white lightning and we're going to go visit some Corps of Engineer campgrounds out in the East Texas Piney Woods. And on our way to Houston, we're going to stop and visit Tranquility Base or what will become Tranquility Base. I may shoot some footage there. There's not a whole lot going on, but I may shoot some footage there. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue to work with Dell to recover those files. So we're, I'm missing Buffalo Creek, both videos for Buffalo Creek and all the raw footage. Ham Creek, then you don't even know what Ham Creek is. I visited a Ham Creek campground on the upper end of Lake Whitney. All of those, that footage is gone. From the, the, my, my Benbrook Lake trip, you'll notice it abruptly terminated. That's because the files are currently incognito. Cross your fingers, pray that I can recover that data. Uh, and if not, I guess we just have to go back. That's it for now. So if you've if you've not already, I'd be I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button, and remember to hit that bell as well. You never you don't want to miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. Thank you so much for that opportunity. I really appreciate it. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?